justement. We're recording now. You're recording now. Okay. We have a motion to open this meeting of the HPB. Can I go to the meeting? Yeah. You can do it. I'll stay. I'll make a motion. Second. <clears throat> uh, Member Olson? Yes. Member Sarrell? Yes. Chair Pollock? Yes. Motion passes. Before we start, does anyone need to recuse himself? I don't know. I don't know. So we've still left the most going to remind me of something I've forgotten about. Nothing that I'm aware of. Nothing that I'm aware of. I totally forgot the other. Okay. Well, we have uh, 25 South Main. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, that's great. I'd like to thank you for the elevation drawing. It does, does not need to be complex. It does need to be the scale, and this is a, a much more understandable representation of what you have in mind. I have to be honest, I was not even supposed to be here. Kara was going to do this, and she had got in the family, so she wasn't able to come. So I don't know if um, she was taking care of it. I'll be putting it that's um, understandable. So, so this, uh, Steve tells me that this is now as one sign. It was two signs at one point? Look like two from the materials that I have. So oh, one. Okay, thank you. Yeah. That's like, as in. I have a question regarding um, on the application at for form. It says the sign will be black, white, and red. And what we have is black and white. So there's like, red. There's red on my logos, like the little tiny um, ink of the, or the little tiny. Oh, all right. Okay. I now that you say where it is, I can actually see the tiny little bit that it is. Actually, red and orange. Like so that's the red part. Of it. Yeah. It's like, okay. Is it? Oh, right there. It's got a beak and a, and a comb. Okay. Very cute. <laughs> yep. Good. Okay. Uh, what's uh? Do you have any questions? No. I the only thing we needed to see was the correct scale, and I think it looked really good in that position. Yes. yes, I agree. I agree too. So we have a motion to accept this application. I'll make a motion to accept the application uh, uh, as presented. I second that motion. Thank you. Uh, Member Sarah? Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Chair Pollock? Yes. Motion passes. And I think the uh, findings of fact on this relate to uh, the uh, design guidelines for signs. It meets the requirements of sign guidelines. And uh, yep, you're good to go. I would, I would make a request to, uh, will the manufacturer of the sign be installing the sign? And how, I'm sorry, it probably says somewhere, and I don't want to, if you don't mind, I don't want to hunt through. Do you know how it's going to be fastened to the building? Yeah. 
It says hidden hardware. We okay. saw that faster. too. Okay, I, I would like to request that any hardware that needs to be uh, inserted in the building, that any fasteners be inserted in the mortar and not in the brick. Mortar is replaceable. Mortar is a sacrificial material in all cases, and the brick is not. This old brick is not replaceable. So any fastener should be in mortar joints only. Okay. And it does take a little finessing, but it is possible. Yeah. This is in, in the uh, notes? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah, that's important. Okay, right. okay you can pass that on. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, we got 14 Elmbrook Drive. Okay, this four seasons. It's gonna be a three season. Or three season. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope for four. I'm yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. Okay, tell us about the project. We've got the existing and proposed. Yeah. My existing one has a flat roof and um, it's a screen in porch and it's gone, basically falling apart because it's been intended to for about 20 years. So um, I just wanted to actually extend uh, my living out there a little bit longer because I really enjoy the space. And uh, put together my little dream, dream spot. Um, so, um, casement windows, a nice little uh, fireplace in there, um, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be heated other than the fireplace, so it's just almost in the same footprint. Um, I think I'm adding about two feet, uh, but I did have a wood deck on the back too that's going to be pulled that. out. Okay. Yeah. So the fireplace, uh, is that uh, natural or is it it's wood? It's going to be gas. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I had thought about the wood fireplace, but someone told me that it's actually going to generate too much heat in the small room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I just wanted something that's like, yeah. mm -hmm. something that's, you know, a lot better. So how is that vented? Is that just within the chimney itself or is that, how's that? Well, you could do gas vented or non vented gas fires. Yeah. Naturally, natural gas fireplaces. You don't have to have it. We're using the same, we're going to do the same with steel liner. Okay, that's why I'm getting it. Yeah. Okay. Discussion on the uh, space as proposed? Materials, the new siding that's all going to be to match? Or? The new siding is not going to match. My siding right now is vinyl siding. Okay. And it works and keep affects it. So, yeah. um, right, there's not a lot of siding um, except for a little bit on the bottom. And so then most of it is windows. Most, mostly windows. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, the little pieces that I will have. Will be um, either um, a wood piece or um, it could be um, hardy board. It just depends on. Okay. So it's going to match. <coughs> Profile will match. That's, yeah, I mean, like introducing the new style or anything. No. Okay. It looks like this deck goes further, uh, like in front of the kitchen or behind the kitchen. Oh, is that? Is that Gonna be left there, or how's it? Yeah, this is like a little bump out that um, I am thinking about uh, two feet for the kitchen, um, where the wood decking is. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that in the in the first step or a two step process, but that space is invisible by the road. Yeah, yeah. But that's not on these drawings, then. Uh, it is. Or is it just yes, it shows. Looking at yeah, you look. It's right this there. little bump right here. Oh, this. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. When it's when the space between the lines of the wall are hatched, it means it's new. Okay. Um, I have just a curiosity question. Um, the existing. <clears throat> what's the what is the floor made of? Not the floor, it's a concrete floor. Right yeah. now it's concrete, okay. so it will be an engineering yard on top of it. That's what goes on inside 
doesn't matter to us, and that's not what I was going to ask. I was going to ask about the difference in the. I'm sorry, I don't see North Arrow, so I don't know what side it is. The uh, the back side of the screen porch is dimensioned at four, 14 feet three inches. The new sunroom is 12 feet eight inches. And I'm just wondering, is there is there a footing around the existing exterior walls? Um, it's it's a point of curiosity. Mm -hmm. It's not a point of design, but I'm just curious to know mm -hmm. what's um, how much soil destruction is going on there, and how are you gonna? Is, I'm guessing maybe you don't know the answer to this. Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> okay. um, they said they were going to. Um, my house is on a slab, so they they were gonna match the existing mm -hmm. foundation. Mm -hmm. um, if it goes out a little bit, I probably um, would um, decorate it. Right. Yeah. You know, there's going to be um, landscaping around it. Going out farther is 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 an easy thing. Yeah. Because theoretically, if there's if there's foundation, I can't see it on the small drawing, so the big drawing is hard. Uh -huh. Hard. To, it's, it's this wall. If it goes out farther, uh -huh. oh no, it won't go out any farther. Well, it, then in, I fact, think. in fact, it will. This is scaled at ten feet six inches. This is scaled at fourteen four, and this is fourteen three, and this is twelve eight. So okay. the, the proportions are a little different. Yes, I'm just wondering because. Um, just from a point of safety and constructability. Yes. You're going to have. They have to build a new foundation. <laughs> I'm just wondering how much they have to trench out. How much are they going to leave in the ground? It's in the ground yeah. again. This is not. Any sure. of, this is not in the purview of the of the board. We deal with what's visible. Sure. But I'm thinking about constructability because. They have to um, tear out the current uh, cement. They're not sure how far it goes down. Okay. Because it's just a screen porch. It might just be a. The slab edge might just be turned down a small amount, 12 or 16, 18 inches. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just curious. Sure. Any questions on the inside? Uh, the, the chimney material? Still uh, linear. Okay. Do you have a manufacturer or do you know any of those details? I do not have that detail. No. Okay. I currently have a cement black. Um, Chimney in the front of the house. Yep. So uh, what's going on in the back will look better than what's in the front. Okay. Do we look? Do we look into that uh, specific materials of yes. the chimney? Yes, we would. Okay. Yeah, we would. <clears throat> if you wanted to match the whole house, it would be cinder block. No, we don't want that, but we don't want the something. wrong something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's always good to have what you're going to be using. Reviewed. Yeah, there's no there's no indication of what that would be. It's not indicated on the drawing, and it's not it's not called out in the uh, application form that I can see. Also, do you have, uh, and again, the, my packet was kind of doubled up, so I might be missing. It, but are there window manufacturers or window part numbers? Um, yes, I'm looking at the um, Marvin Elevate window. I have wood windows that, again, it's vinyl siding, so it's vinyl clad in the front. In the front of the house? Or is Probably. that too? Oh, the, whole house. the wood. Okay. And that's what these windows are going to be also? Um, I believe this is aluminum in the front and wood in the back, like wood in the inside. Right. Okay. Wood clad windows to match existing wood clad windows of existing home. That's what it says on the application form. Siding and roof shingles to match existing home. But I believe that you guys won't approve vinyl, correct? So that's why you mentioned the Hardy board then. And it says siding. Well, that's for the siding. Yeah, yeah she's going to use the correct siding, wood or the side, siding yeah. size. It'll mm -hmm. be better than what is out front right now. Okay. But we have to call out what material it is. Wood. Okay. Pine wood. Okay. I'm sorry. Of the, the, the wood. Of the siding. The siding is wood. 
Yes. It will be wood okay. to match the sizing. Okay. I don't want to match the vinyl siding because I'd rather replace that. Of course. The vinyl Some looks, future looks days. very yeah. very small reveal. Do you know what the spacing is between the rows of siding? Um, it, just looks looks very, very, um, it looks very small. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. It very to small. me. Yeah, it does, yeah. So there's only going to be like three um, slats, which are probably six inches a piece. Well, it looks like they're going to be more than that here. Oh, that's on the, that's not facing the road, though. Well, but you're going to put the same siding on each elevation. Yes. Do you have any idea what the, what the siding is behind the vinyl? Because they put the, there was siding. Um, it was built by a mason. The whole house is concrete block. Oh. Mm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, this house is right in the corner of South, correct? South and um, yes. Yeah. This, I can tell you about this house. Vinyl siding was approved on this house when I was chair of this board many years ago, and it was approved because the house is concrete black. Yeah. There was no stucco. There was no decoration. Mm -hmm. There was nothing. It was painted black. So if she wants to put vinyl on on this, I'm cool with that. I got mm -hmm. no problem with that because the the exception at that point for yeah. vinyl yeah. for this property was made a long time ago for specific reasons. That reason being it was a residence mm -hmm. <laughs> and it wow. looked like a jail <laughs> like yeah. a jail building. It yeah. <laughs> it's very square. Yes, I I knew that when I looked at the packet, but I oh forgot that God, this the house it is. Amazing. So I have no problem with the vinyl siding either. With it being, I have no problem with the siding being vinyl. Gotcha. I think they may have, may have put some um, rigid insulation on the outside because there's no Under it. insulation in the black. So I think it's black with, as I recall, some layer of, of insulation and then the vinyl side and applied over the insulation. Um, I think there's a thin bit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this, yeah. Uh, Lori, uh, well, her name then was Rosenthal. Lori Rosenthal, who was, was uh, her maiden name was Lori Williams, the Williams Agency, insurance agency up here. Mm. Long time Pittsburgh family. Graduated high school with me. <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like on the house, I, I was at the house before, it looks like what they did was they put burning strips and then fall with the solid in between. You can tell exactly where the strips are, but then it feels ah. like it's like furniture, foam, mm -hmm. furniture. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, does that foam have that much insulation value? I mean, it's, it's three quarters of an inch, maybe it's 3.5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not much, but yeah. it's better than but zero. Yeah. yeah, or block. It, it's more yeah. like an air. Barrier to that that right. insulating. Yeah. Right. I'd say it's an air barrier. Yeah. Okay. Well, the only. I'm sorry. Where will this light go? This is yours. Yes. Um. Out the back door of the. Yes, out the back Next door. Door. Right here. Right there. Right there. Yes, the back door and actually the screen as well. The golden screen. Yep. Oh, yes, I see. Yep. Right by the door. Yep. Um, although the lamp. This, if this is what you picked, does not look like what's depicted here. And I don't particularly have a problem with either one, except that whatever we say, whatever we we need to be sure what we So, no, what she we just approve. drew that in. The architect is doing and it. this she is what you picked. You picked this up. Okay. Okay. Where to match the house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my only my only concern in that case is the the finish on the on the uh, fireplace. The yeah. <clears throat> so is there a way you can get that information to us, or? Um. I mean, do we have? We have the material, the windows. Any issues with that? And since it's an addition, I don't see any. You know? And then, do we have to have the window material and 
um, yours numbers into the packet? I think they're specifics. I think they're here. They were, I thought they were listed. We have a we have a cut sheet for the doors. So on the um, chimney, it's going to be this Ashler stone, Ashler pattern of stone. Uh, you know, it could be certainty. It could be. Um, mm hmm Okay. I don't know if you need to see that. Yeah, this is just a, a thin veneer. Yeah. You familiar with that? Mm hmm Mortar it on, stick mm -hmm. it on. All right. Any questions further? I do have a question about uh, the windows. Um, on all of my windows, I have, you know, this is the grid pattern and two over two. That, yes. Yeah. So if this is the current grid pattern mm -hmm. and this is what I was picked to match that. But I wondered if this would be a problem if I switched the back. Do I need to stay with this or do it? Is it either or would be OK? If you went with the top ones, would you remove the secondary window above it, the transom, the transom window? Uh, the transom would be there. So it would be OK. So it would just, just be that style, but still have the transom up there. And the transom would have the same. OK. Mm -hmm. Oh, that it's just a solid. It's just one piece. It's that's an interior. I think that she's yeah. saying that yeah. if she did, yeah. you go with the top. That the that the 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 yeah. ones. Yeah, four is it with one. Does that matter for you guys? This is existing here. It's hard to see from the that footprint. is um, no, that would be the new oh, spot. Um, I'm looking at the. You want to see an old picture now? Third piece here. Let's go back to the existing. Are these double? Are these are? Yeah, that would be a picture. These are double hung windows. Yeah, those with, are double hung. With a, a horizontal bar only. Yes. Oh, well, uh, it's it's hard to see in that picture. Mm -hmm. so that that shows it in there. But right. It's my opinion that since the windows, although they're double hung, they don't get any vertical mullions. They only have a crossbar. Right. One. It, Just in, in it. my opinion, the bottom. This uh, divider pattern is more appropriate than to Over that, change that one, yeah. to something that is more. Reminiscent of a double horn. Sure. Okay. Good. That's right. So you feel good about that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's okay. Fine. Yeah. Good. I think those cramps will give you extra light. That's great. Yeah. Okay. It's also nice to hear the high windows because if it gets hot, um, if you open those up, that warm air will rise rises to the upper up to up towards the ceiling, and if those are operable, you can exhaust that warm air in the summer months right out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any further questions, Dan? No, I don't think so. Shall I make a motion? Yeah. Well, what do we want to call it for the chimney? Uh, she has indicated that it's going to be a thin veneer, ashlar stone type okay. Okay. Uh, veneer of a buff color, I yeah. call it. That's what the photograph. Yeah. Shows would match the house. Going to be anything, you know. Buff is correct. This that's that type of oh, yeah. appearance. Yeah, nice. 
I'll make a motion to approve the application as presented with the following uh, additional information provided by the applicant at the meeting. The uh, fire, new fireplace chimney will be clad with a thin veneer of ashlar stone and a, um, shades of buff. And the light fixture for the uh, door to the outside will be the capital lighting fixture that was included in the packet. Capital ID number CP37665. A hunt 20 inch tall outdoor. And whatever it says after that is didn't quite make it. Didn't yeah. quite make it. It's close. It's on the next page. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a second? I'll second that motion. <clears throat> oh, um, oh, the drawing does say siding to match existing, which would be the vinyl, which we have previously discussed. Yeah, but I don't believe she wants that. She said it warps in the heat and that she'd prefer wood. <clears throat> you would prefer wood, okay. Prefer wood or, or hardy board. And then at, after that question, it was yeah. stated that she would go with Yeah, wood. about two years, I'd like to replace the final. Yeah. With okay. Yeah. All right. Steve? Remember you say it has to match the review of the existing home. Well, I'm not sure if, if you, you want, want it. It's, it's, very, it's a very yeah. small reveal. I am with the double three, not a double, or a triple three, rather than double four. Yeah, I think it is it's very narrow. Um, so maybe I maybe I need to um, remove that as presented. Uh, yeah, but only because you don't. The drawing says signing to match existing, and I believe that's what the. I'm sorry, I've already shuffled through the papers and I've lost it. Siding and roof shingles to match existing home. So, so right to in, match meaning to match the same yes. with material. Match, yeah, with match with means needle. everything about it is exactly like. So, so you want in to, your um, opinion, you want me to put vinyl there to approve it through the board? No, no. no. What, what she's saying is we don't. It says if we approve the packet as presented, mm -hmm. it states to match existing. So then if you put the wood that we're saying in, in, we are in agreement to use, then it would be inaccurate to what's presented in this packet. So yes. in her motion, she has to make a motion to say what you're going to do with okay. the yes. siding that you want to do and then okay. to make sure it all lines up. Here's an exception uh, to, the, uh, to the approval that the siding will not the new siding will not match the existing as stated in the application, but will be, I'm going to say, four inch reveal hardy, hardy board or, siding. Yeah. Or wood. Or, or, or wood. Hardy okay. board or wood. Does that work for you, four inches? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> um, member Olson? Yes. Member Sarah? Yes. Chair Pollock? Yes. Motion passed. Great. Thank you so much. Good luck. Good luck. Appreciate right after all. Fifteen East Jefferson. Oh, on. The pants man. Yes, indeed. Okay. How's it going tonight? Good. Good. How are you? So yours is around uh, the. Back of the house from the courtyard okay. yeah, master the gave us the of the backyard. I can't see it from anywhere except the backyard. I was over there earlier today actually. Got some pictures about 75 yards west of that. There is a chain link fence. Yep, a great chain link fence. Looks like around someone's garden. Um, so, yeah, I just took pictures of it. It's a, my printer, I apologize. Oh, okay. I thought, my God, that's quite abstract. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like a dog ate it. <laughs> you got dog ate it. Yeah, no, no, I understand. The dog ate it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you can keep this if you want. Or whatever. Are those not what you didn't send those? No, I I took these today. So oh, okay. Just, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, just to change. I can just take one for your Bible. Okay. Yeah, both of them. Okay. So I got them on my phone. They're there forever. But it's uh, it's going to be a, a black chain link fence. Of course, that's all right. I'm told it blends in. Yeah. Uh, no one will see it um, other than my neighbors. They went in their backyard, to the left of me or to the right of me. Can't be seen from the other. Right. Right. Okay. Is there a fence there right now? No. No. So it's a new fence. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. We're not. And what's the reason for the fence? A dog. My dog. I have a, a dog. A miniature dachshund. I don't know if you're familiar with dachshunds, but they're, they have a mind of their own. Okay. Yes, they were, indeed. <laughs> they were bred to hunt and they get on the scent and take off. So, uh, just a protector. Yeah. There was a, a gate on each side so the lawnmower can get in and out. Okay. And the fence itself, like I said, is barely visible on just the right side of the house. You'll never even see the left side. Yeah. Under the back. The only thing you'll, you'll see is that little bit of, of this 90 degrees in the ground wall on the right side. After that, no. And then there are two gates, one on each. Yes. Two gates, one on each. Yeah, side. just to make it easy for the lawnmower to get in and out. Yeah, the, okay. Yeah. At the street side of the fence. It's at the back of your house, but they're here and here, right? Yeah, so it starts so right, right, right at the back of my house yeah. and goes all the way to the back of the property line. Okay. It matches your property line that your neighbors share with you? Uh, it's on my property line on the inside. It doesn't go onto their property at all. Okay. I haven't moved into the house yet. When I was given the, the survey map, I took it over to the contractor and he just traced out. We walked it out. It's just the perimeter of my property. Okay. So I can obviously make sure that it's not going to go on anyone else's right. Right. property. Yeah. Okay. Any questions on this application? We're not thrilled with chain link. Are you open to different it? material? Uh, chain link is what I had looked into because that was the, the easiest to do. Yeah. Um, there are other options, but chain link would be the, the best suited for me. I would I would like to see different options. Chain links in the fence, uh, chain link fences in the village. Yes, they exist. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not new. Mm -hmm. uh, this board, since I've been on it, hasn't approved a chain link fence. Mm -hmm. um, especially if your new neighbor and your um, your neighbors saw you move in and put a chain link fence in, and they've been in the village for a long time. I think that's something to take into consideration. Also, mm -hmm. uh, I would like to see something wood. And there's many dogs in the village that have fences and there's privacy and they're low reveal. You don't have to have a six foot fence. They can be shorter, but Steve, I'm just, you know, Steve. Chain link is one of the approved fencing. Whatever chain link are the two approved fencing within the village. It is in the cold. Yep. Um, I'm just looking it up here right now. Yeah, Appropriate fencing materials include wood, wrought iron, cast iron, and in some cases, aluminum, if it sim simulates the appearance of wrought iron. Chain link fencing is not appropriate in front yards or other visible locations. In some instances, chain link fencing is permitted if it is largely out of view from the public yeah, way and green. is coated black or green. Yeah, yeah, this is black and it's totally out of view. It really can't be seen at all. You, you haven't looked at an invisible fence with one of those things? Like I said earlier, Dachshunds, they have a, a mind of oh, their okay. own. Well, I, I had a terrier, so okay. that, yeah. then, then you're familiar with what I'm talking oh, about. Okay. They, I would, I would, I know, I've got three dogs. I have dogs all my life. Uh -huh. I would never in a million years trust invisible fence. I've seen dogs run right. through. Dogs in my neighborhood have been hit because they ran through their invisible fence. Right. When I've been walking my dogs, yeah, dogs who have invisible yeah. fence have bolted through their fence to make my life miserable with my dogs. Yeah, so I just yeah. try, to, try to take all the precautions and protecting mm -hmm. your well-being, and that's right. the most sure way to make sure that okay. nothing's gonna happen. So with this board, there's only three of us present, uh -huh. but you have a right to vote the full board of five. Mm -hmm. There should be five. I don't know where Carolina is or, or yeah. Christopher. Um, His wife is sick tonight. Okay. Chris is sick, yeah. If you feel like going to a vote, you can. But if you want to wait until next month and either research different material or wait till you have a full board, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. 
Does, do I need the, the full board? No, no, you don't. No. You, no. you need three votes. Right. Yeah. But if one of us three votes no and we vote, you don't have then you don't have them. You don't have enough. You don't have it. Right. And then I but you could come back. You could come back. You could come back and vote a second time. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's up to you. I just caution the board that if it's in our guidelines in this circumstances, that it would be very difficult to develop findings in support of a no. Yeah. And, and sorry to in support of a no. It would yeah. be very, very yeah. I have yeah. Yeah. to develop findings. Just so the other board members know, I have no issue with this fence. Okay. Give it a try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the fence as presented. Second. <clears throat> um, Member Rosero? Yes. Member Olson? No. Chair Pollock? Yes. Does not pass. Yeah, what was your findings being in support of that? My findings has been that what it says in here is it's, it's not something that we should approve. Let me look it up now. It's on page 80. What page? Yeah, fencing. Page 80. Yeah. Fencing. It's also something that I've been vocal about and very strongly opinionated about in my time on the board. This is probably one of the only things that I will take a really firm stand on. And it's not necessarily about just it being in your backyard, but also for anyone else and what their neighbors want and what their neighbors would see. Uh, and that you could maybe see it from the street, but I, I will not. I would not approve uh, a, a chain link fence. So, like, of all matters on the, this is one that I would take a really hard stand on. Okay, but it, it, that stand is in conflict with our guidelines. <clears throat> yeah, I read it this afternoon. I was curious myself. Chain link fence is not appropriate in front yards, which this is obviously in the back, or other visible locations. In some instances chain link fence is permitted if it's largely out of view from the public way and it's coated in black or green i understand that yeah. well i think those are the two those are the, <clears throat> those are the two things that make it acceptable it's in the backyard that's why i said we should wait for a full board yeah. that's why i said we should wait for a full board well i i agree we should wait for a full board but also it's, our charge is yeah. to is to act in accordance to the, with the design guidelines. Act in accordance with our design guidelines. Yeah. Maybe the guidelines need to be changed. Ninety-nine percent of that fence is not visible. Great. Okay. Can he challenge that decision? No. I'm not. I'm not giving advice. Can I ask a question? So I can come back in a month. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. yeah. And, and what I was saying is that you need three positive votes right. and you have the right to a full board vote. Mm -hmm. And I think it's embarrassing that this board uh, routinely doesn't have enough people on its board. Mm -hmm. this. this happens month after month. So um, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Back I think if you had a full board, Knowing some of the other members, I'm, it probably would have passed, mm -hmm. and I would have voted the exact same way. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look back at my history of voting, I've been very progressive, but with chain link fences, this is one thing that I've always felt strong about. Mm -hmm. um, not only for you, but the village and your neighbors, and you know, what we want in this village. It is uh, moving forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. See you next month. All right. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. You too. Um, you're going to give a very strong consideration to changing the, the, the uh, guidelines. Yeah. The, or the standards. Because yeah, if we, if, I think we're in a box on it. Yeah. Those are online, and which they are. And that's what they say. It's not a legally defensible opinion. Yeah. Pretty soon. No, this is not legally defensible. So, uh, it, you know, I mean, maybe you change the guidelines. 
I think that would require some discussion and oh, no, no, no. part yeah. of the board. I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean that it would. I might change the guidelines is not all that simple. You have to have um, research about how we got there and then how you can change. Uh, you know, so anyway, that's your side. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. We don't have enough uh, members here for the matter. Oh, okay. So yeah. Yeah. You know, I wasn't here for that meeting, so we can't. <laughs> So we have a motion okay. to uh, conclude the meeting. I'll move to adjourn the meeting. Second. Second. Okay. Um, Member Yes. Member Olson? Yes. Chair Pollock? Yes. Motion passes. It's close to a record. Thank you very much. You're close. I don't think it's a record, but it's pretty close.